All right, good evening, everybody. Welcome to another um, live Q&A virtual evening on what's the latest with Berkey 2021. I'm here with our event director, Christy Mackey, tonight, and she's got all kinds of updates for, um, for all of you, and, and there's a lot of questions out there, and we're going to try and get to as many as we can. Um, one of the things that I think is really picking up, and many people are asking a lot, we'll touch on it a lot tonight, is the virtual options. Um, we're partnering with a lot of new virtual venues that are going to be pretty exciting. Heck, even last year's champion, Jessica Eaton, is going to be skiing virtual from New Mexico. So we think that is pretty darn cool. Um, interestingly enough, even from a high level, the busiest day um, in person will be less than a quarter of the amount of people that we would normally have at the Berkey. So it's going to be a very different experience. And this year's Berkey is going to be like none other. We get it. Um, and it's not a one size fits all Berkey. Again, some people it's going to be easiest to do it from Milwaukee or Madison or California, Florida, wherever you may be. Um, for others, maybe it's easy to make a day trip or come on up and be able to do the Berkey. We're working really closely, as we've told you over and over, um, with medical professionals, not at the local level, but certainly at the state level as well, to make sure that we can have really safe protocols, not only when you're skiing the event, but also when you're within our community. We're a small town in northern Wisconsin. Um, we've actually been fortunate enough now to put on a couple events. We just had the Gitchy Gammy Games this last weekend that on, on one day had almost 900 people come through the venue between skiers, spectators, volunteers. So we're getting really good at being able to create safe environments about being outside, being active, being healthy, as well as, like I said, we're going to create some really awesome virtual options for those of you that make most sense to do it from wherever you are. Um, the other thing I just want to mention that we'll also touch on is the Berkey Tours coming up. Those of you that um, maybe the Berkey isn't right this year, you can't make it, or something like the Berkey Tour is uh, the way to be, or you want to just come try it out and see what it's going to be like when we do do Berkey. Berkey Tour is going to be here before you know it, just a couple weeks away. So with that, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it over to our event director, Christy Mackey. She's going to take you through a presentation, obviously, of what's the latest, what's going on, and do remember, as we said before, things can change very rapidly. We're planning for this in-person event as well as virtual, but as we have said all along, do understand things can rapidly change and we may have to pivot. So we're going to tell you what we know right now. We know that Berkey's now nearly just six weeks away and we're getting excited. We know you're getting excited and you have a lot of questions. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to our race director, Christy Mackey, and she's going to walk you through a presentation. All right, thanks, Ben. Um, thanks everyone for joining us tonight. There is a lot of information and a lot of things going on to know about Berkey 2021. Um, so we are going to touch on lots of different topics tonight uh, and we're gonna get right into that. Um, so things that we're gonna talk about, medical updates, a lot of dates to remember, um, and a lot of new things that we have added and exciting things happening. Okay, so again, I want to reiterate to everyone that we will have very limited medical on course this year. Um, so do not participate if you are not confident you are physically prepared for this event. And also do not participate if you have had COVID-19 within 90 days of the event. Um, medical professionals just do not know enough about long-term effects of even a mild case of COVID-19, and we do not recommend that you come and do uh, any of the events if you have had COVID in the past 90 days. Uh, we also still have Dr. Quigley, the Berkey medical team leader. Her message is still on our Berkey event update page. You can always check that out. And if you have any concerns about uh, COVID at the event or when you return home, um, and if you're, if you're uncertain what you should do, you should just choose the virtual option. Okay, we are adding more COVID-19 precautions to the event. Um, and thankfully, COVID-19 rates are going down in the area, uh, but we still do not think that, uh, we still want to take lots of precautions and we want you to feel safe coming here and you to have safe actions when you are here. Um, so we're dialing in the protocols for athletes, volunteers, and staff. We highly suggest that you get a COVID test before traveling to the area. Uh, there are lots of options for testing now, 
Um, you can check out uh, information on the Department, Wisconsin Department of Health site, um, plus anywhere that you are living, uh, just check out local resources for COVID testing. Uh, we will be asking all participants to submit a COVID-19 e-screening before arriving at the venue. Those are just uh, reminder questions of what you should be looking out for, um, any symptoms of COVID and other things to think about before you come to the event. Uh, and we do recognize that masks are very important in helping limit the spread of COVID-19. So we will be very strict with mask wearing at the event. So we will be requiring masks in the start and finish areas and in the aid station areas. That means while you are filling up your water bottles, uh, you will need to put your mask on, uh, especially if you cannot keep more than six feet away from everyone. Um, so we just ask that you be as safe everywhere during your travels and stay uh, in the community if you are staying overnight as you are at the event. Okay, lots of dates to remember. Um, so for the virtual event, tomorrow, January 19th is the last day to register for the virtual event. It is also the last day for any race changes and wave upgrades. So even if you are registering for the virtual event, um, if you have already registered for the virtual event, you wanna change from the Berkey to the Cordy, the Cordy to the Prince Hoken or vice versa, tomorrow is the last day for those changes, January 19th by 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Then Friday, January 22nd, is the last day to switch to virtual and get your ski ties and bib mailed to you before the event. If you switch to virtual, there is no need to have your bib packet, or no need to pay to have your bib packet mailed to you. Uh, we will mail your bib, your hat, um, and your ski ties all to you before the event if you switch to virtual before January 22nd. After January 22nd, you can still switch to virtual, but you will not get your ski ties and we cannot guarantee that you will get your bib packet before the event. However, anytime you switch to virtual, there is no charge to have your bib packet mailed to you. We want everyone to make the safest choices possible in regards to COVID-19, so we will allow switches to virtual up until February 27th. February 28th is your last day to do the virtual event. So you must switch until February, uh, until you must switch by February 27th in order to do the virtual race. Okay, in-person dates to remember. January 19th, which is tomorrow, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, the last day to request any race changes and wave upgrades. After that time, uh, everything is, bids are all produced, bid packets are all being created and getting ready to be mailed to you or brought to Hayward for bid picked up. January 22nd is the last day to switch to virtual and get your ski ties and bid before the event and have your bid mailed to you at no cost. After February or after January 22nd, you may not get your bid mailed to you if you are doing the in-person event. After Friday, uh, you will have to come to bid pickup to pick up your, your bid if you are doing the in-person event. And then February 27th, again, is the last day to switch to the virtual event. So some exciting news. We have decided, based on um, a lot of feedback from participants, growing numbers of virtual racers, and venues that want to be able to spread out racers at our virtual venue partners. Um, so now since we have over 20% of Berkey participants going virtual, we have expanded the dates. They will now be from Saturday, February 20th to Sunday, February 28th. We have a growing list of virtual venue partners and those will all be online soon. Um, so we, we really, encourage you to check out these virtual venues. They're going to make sure that they have courses groomed for you. They're going to have course um, courses laid out for you with suggestions on what 43K, 26 kilometers or 14 kilometers to do at their venues. Some venues might have aid stations or water available at the finish. 
Uh, some venues might actually um, even have some timing options for you. So we encourage you to check out all of our virtual venue partners. We hope there is a virtual venue close to you. Um, if there is not, you can do your Berkey at any anywhere you want. Um, more information can be found on our website for the virtual events, along with information on what to do if you live in an area with no snow and you still want to complete your Berkey, Cordy, or Prince Hogan. So we have other non-skiing activities that you can do in the equivalent distances that you must complete in order to get credit for the American Berkebiner, Cordelope, or Prince Hogan. Okay, so just again to reiterate, these virtual partners are really doing a great job. Um, they want you to get out and ski, we want you to get out and ski, and we want you to feel like it is an event and it's still an exciting time. And as we all know, doing that distance and doing the Berkey Anywhere is quite an accomplishment. So check out our virtual partners. Um, a lot, oftentimes they will have the mark courses marked, there will be signage there, timing and more. So check out uh, our webpage for more and more information will continue to be put on there. Okay, so we still are getting a lot of questions about bibs. How will you pick up your bib? Virtual participants, you will get your bib mailed to you at no charge. You do not have to request to have your bibs mailed to you if you are doing the virtual option. In-person participants, until this Friday, you can have your bib packet mailed to you for a $6 mailing fee. Um, if you do not request that before Friday, you will come to drive up pickup. That will be Berkey Week at Berkey Ridge. And more details on when you can pick up your bib will be available as we get closer to the event. Gear bag pickup. If you have uh, purchased a gear bag during registration, you have two options. If you are in person, you may come and pick it up along with your bib at bib pickup, or you may have it mailed to you for $11. You must request to have that mailed to you before March 31st. If you are doing the virtual option, you can request to have your gear bag mailed to you at uh, the same cost of $11. And just a reminder, there is no baggage for in 2021. You cannot leave any gear bags, whether it's the Berkey gear bag, a plastic bag, or your own gear bag in the start or finish area in 2021. Any baggage left in the start and finish area will be removed um, by staff during the race. Okay, some more exciting news. Uh, the Berkey Expo is going virtual. Um, so this is going to be a time where you can visit different booths um, virtually and get the same kind of information that you did in person from all of our great sponsors and vendors. Uh, more information can be found on Berkey.com under Berkey Expo. Um, but things to note is you need to, all participants are pre-registered for the Berkey Expo and check your email for more information on that. Uh, it starts early. The booths will be live on February 4th and 5th. That means you can go into the Berkey Expo on February 4th and 5th and have conversations with sponsors, vendors, and other people uh, that will be at the, at the Expo. And there's a list of those people on our website. The Expo though is open through the end of February, so you can visit it anytime to get the special deals that vendors are offering. And if you visit 21 booths, you will get a chance to win one of 21 Berkey entries for 2022. Okay, in the Berkey store, we know lots of people often uh, really look forward to visiting the Berkey store during Berkey week. There will not be a physical store open Berkey week this year, uh, but there is a great online store, the Berkey store. Um, here are just a few of the the examples of things you can find on the Berkey online store. You can shop online and either have your order shipped or you can pick up your order curbside at the Berkey office during Berkey week. Okay, we have now also developed a Berkey app. You can find this right now in the Apple store and soon you'll be able to find it in the Google Play store. All of your information about Berkey will be in this app. How many Berkeys you've completed, how many Cordy's, 
what your fastest time was, um, how what events you are registered you will for. You will soon find a lot of event information in this app, race guides, uh, what day you're skiing on, your bib number. Um, all of your information will be in the Berkey app. You can also find the, the Berkey trail map and uh, current conditions right, right in the Berkey app. So it's gonna be a really useful tool. We suggest you download this now um, and get your account registered. You can also purchase Berkey passes, ski passes in here and keep all of your information right on your own phone uh, in the Berkey app. Um, and as Ben mentioned earlier, the 2021 Berkey Tour is coming up on January 30th. I, I'm sorry, on January 31st. Um, that's a Sunday. Uh, the Berkey Tour is a great way to preview the course. If you're having questions about how hilly is the, the northern half because you ski the Cordelope from Double O to Hayward normally, and you want to get a better idea of what those hills look like, the Berkey Tour is a great way to preview the course. It's a very long start window, so everyone can stay spread out. You can try out the aid stations and see what hydration options will be like during the Berkey. Uh, those will all be set up at the Berkey Tour. Uh, so you can have a nice long day. You must be finished by 3 p.m. Um, but when you are finished with the race, you will get a sack lunch and a beverage to go. There will be no indoor spaces, very few volunteers there. But you will get a awesome water bottle and belt. And if you come on Saturday, you could do the Sealy Hills Classic, which will also be a very distant classic race. Wave starts, uh, begins at the Double O Trailhead and gets a, a different view of the Berkey Trail. This is just a little uh, way to entice you to come and do the Berkey Tour with the water bottle belt and water bottle, which are great ways to stay hydrated during the tour and during the Berkey when you want to be a little more self-sufficient this year. All right, now we will go into some specific questions that people have had. Okay, I usually get wax recommendations and pur purchase the appropriate wax at the expo. Will there be opportunities during Berkey week for wax vendors to provide recommendations and buy wax? Yes, you will find a lot of this um, in the Berkey expo. You can even get on while they have the live booths on February 4th and 5th um, and get some recommendations from the vendors on how and when you should purchase wax. Um, there's also lots of opportunities in Hayward and the local area to uh, purchase wax while you're here. When is the last day you can switch to virtual? You can switch to virtual up until February 27th. We know things might change. And while we encourage you to switch to virtual as soon as you are confident that is going to be your choice, uh, we know that things can change very rapidly today. And so uh, February 27th will be the last day that you can switch to virtual. I am skiing the virtual event. Do I need to request that my bib packet be mailed to me? No, if you have switched to virtual, we will automatically, automatically mail your bib packet. That bib packet will include your participant hat, your bib, your ski stickers, and your finisher pen um, or medal. I would like to volunteer on a day that I am not skiing. How do I know what opportunities are available? Volunteer shifts were just opened today, so you can find all of the available spots um, on the Berkey website under volunteers. My husband and I are skiing on Thursday and would like to switch to Wednesday. Is that possible? If you are trying to switch to a day with fewer skiers in it, uh, we encourage you to reach out to the office um, so we can, we can uh, move you to a day with greater availability and fewer skiers. We encourage you to uh, reach out to registration at berkey.com to see what availability, availability there is. Um, and if possible, we will move you to a day that has fewer skiers on it. Will there be an official race guide for Berkey Week 2021? Yes, there will be an official race guide that will have um, lots of things in it specific to each race. Um, including specifics on how to get 
your bid pickup, uh, what the, the COVID e-screening will look like, uh, race maps, um, parking areas at the start. There will be lots of information in that. That will only be an online version. Um, so look at that a few weeks before the event. Will participant hats be included in bid packets or will we receive them on race day? Participant hats this year will be included in race and bid pickup, bid packets, um, whether you are doing the virtual option or the in-person option. We're reducing touch points at the venue as much as possible. So hats um, and finisher pins and medals will be in your bib, bib packets um, and not at the finish line this year. If I switch to the virtual race and change my mind, can I switch back? No, if you switch to virtual, uh, you must stay virtual. For planning purposes, it's very important that we know exactly how many people we have on site. Um, so you are not allowed to switch back to in-person once you go virtual. Will masks be required in the start finish areas or at the aid stations? Yes, masks will be required to start and finish areas and at the aid stations, especially as you are filling up your water bottles. Um, we just did a race called the Gitchigami Games with 400 junior skiers. They all had masks on in the start and finish areas. Um, they kept it on until they were on course and it worked just fine. They kept their masks with them and put them on immediately after they crossed the finish line. Um, it worked very well. We didn't have any issues with that and that's exactly what we will be requiring from you. Um, we think masks are really important and really uh, help help limit um, any spread from COVID. So masks will be important and we will be uh, not only encouraging you but enforcing people have masks on at the start and finish areas and through the aid stations. If we are participating in the World Lopa and cannot travel to the U.S., do we have any options? Um, we are very excited that uh, we are part of the World Lopa, and in fact, the uh, Tony Wise was the creator of the World Lopa idea. Uh, and and so we know that it's a difficult situation uh, if you are hoping to ski the Berkey to fill out that passport, and you might not be able to do that this year. So if you are skiing as part of the World Lopet, please email registration at berkey.com so we can go over any options that you might have. All right, and that uh, we're going to see now if we have any more questions. But we really want you to encourage you to uh, choose the, the type of event that you feel safest with. Um, we're really excited about our virtual partners and we think that the virtual venues are going to um, feel like an event for you um, and, and will be an exciting way to do, uh, do your Berkey, Cordy or Prince Hogan this year. Okay, so can you explain the drop off and pick up of skiers? If we drop off a skier, can we get back to the pick them up or wait in the parking lot? Yeah, we will have a specific drop off and pick up area for skiers. Uh, we encourage you to uh, check into some of the other options that might be available to you, um, either in downtown Cable or Hayward or any of the local communities. Uh, more information about that will be coming out as we get closer to the event. Suggestions on where to go and what you might be able to do. Um, as most of you know, uh, there will be no spectators at the start and finish areas or on course. So we really encourage you to have a plan on um, how to pick up your skier at the, at the finish. Um, and we will try to make that as easy for you as possible. Uh, will there be big pickup and when? Um, yes, big pickup will be on Berkey Week starting on Tuesday, February 23rd, um, and we'll go through Sunday, February 28th. 
Uh, we will be determining the exact times that you will be able to pick up your bids um, at Berkey Ridge, um, drive up style, um, be before, as we get closer to the event. Will there be energy at the aid stations? Yes, noon is one of our sponsors again this year. So you will see noon um, at the aid stations and at the finish line. Uh, we're still working with them to determine the best way to get you your hydration options. Uh, most likely noon at the aid stations will be pre-mixed and will be self-serve. Uh, noon at the finish line will be um, single serve options that you will then add to your water bottle. Okay, the Minnesota State High School sections have been moved to March 1st through 6th. High school coaches do not want the kids doing a long race the weekend before. Do you have any suggestions? Yeah, I would suggest uh, you have through tomorrow if you wanted to switch your kids to uh, the Prince Hoken, a shorter race, see if that's acceptable with the coaches, or switch them to the virtual event where they can uh, participate in the quarter lope at the weekend before uh, the actual in-person event. Um, I think those would be two good options that you could check with their coaches and, and see which option might be right for your, your skier. What percentage of skiers are doing the virtual option? At this time, we have about 20% of skiers doing the virtual option. That number continues to rise. Um, and I suggest if you are thinking about switching to the virtual option, do it this week before Friday so you get everything mailed to you uh, before the event. You won't have to worry about bib pickup. Um, everything will get mailed to you before the event and you can then wear your bib when you're out doing your virtual race. What will ski patrol safety services look like on the five day event? There will be no ski patrol at the event this year, so you won't see uh, anyone skiing on course. We will have medical at each aid station, um, but it will be very, very limited. So we will still have um, people there and there will be roaming people on the course on snowmobiles um, to handle any, any uh, emergencies that we might have on course. However, there will not be as many medical people overall. So we are encouraging people to have a safe event if you are here in person. Do not come if you do not feel prepared for the event or for the terrain that the Berkey uh, race is on. Um, but we are working hard with local medical um, and with a, with a Berkey medical team to make sure that we have uh, resources in place to take care of everyone. When will bid pick packets be mailed? Bid packets will be mailed um, between February 1st and February 8th, and you will get an email that lets you know when your bid packet is mailed so you can keep track of when it should arrive at your home. Uh, um, soon you will also be getting an email that shows your mailing address, uh, what day you are registered for your Berkey, either in person or virtual. Um, so please make sure that you check that right away to make sure that your bib packet is mailed to the correct address. Okay, is there a uh, warm up area near the start? Are there limits to how many people on it? There is not a test or warm up area near the start. Um, that is too difficult to uh, control. Uh, so we, unfortunately this year, you are going to have to warm up your first couple of kilometers of your race. Um, and not warm up prior to the event. Will participants be staggered started within each wave to avoid a mass pack at the start? There will be uh, spots marked in the start area for people to stand in so everyone stays six feet apart. Uh, wave starts times are for 15 minutes. So you will have at least 10 to 12 minutes where you can start any time within that range. So if you are uncomfortable starting with someone six feet away from you and you prefer to wait until most participants have gone through the start, that is perfectly acceptable. You can stay back um, and then leave 
leave the uh, start area when you feel comfortable proceeding down the trail. Can I roller ski my virtual Berkey? Yes, you can. You will still do 43 kilometers, um, but you can roller ski, you can run, walk, or Nordic walk your Berkey. Uh, you can cycle your Berkey. You can ski your Berkey, Cordy or Prince Hogan. Um, all of these things are on our website now and the equivalent distances that you have to complete in order to get credit, in order to get credit for the American Burke Vine Cordelope or Prince Hogan. How do you get your bid packet and gear bag if you are a virtual racer? Your bid packet will automatically be mailed to you. Your gear bag will not be mailed to you unless you go through the gear bag request form. It's an $11 charge to have that gear bag mailed to you. Um, and those links can be found right on the website. But if you're a virtual racer, you do not need to request your bib, just your gear bag. How many people are in each wave? Um, it, it, def, it varies between each wave. We have some waves with as few as uh, 10 skiers in it. Um, the larger waves are probably closer to 150 skiers. Um, if you think of a regular Berkey start wave, you are going to experience probably a third to a quarter of the number of skiers around you as you have experienced in the past. On race day, how early should I plan to be for my start time? Um, that's a really good question. You should, you will not need to get out of your car until probably five to 10 minutes before your wave start time. And we will have the walk from your car, the timing to the start gate um, all dialed out for you. Um, you do want to be a little prepared for traffic coming into the venue, uh, but we think we have a really good traffic flow plan. Uh, you will also experience much less traffic uh, because start times are spread out over four hours instead of the typical two hour time. There is no wait in line for buses. There is no bus, are no buses in the traffic area and there should be plenty of parking for everyone. So we will get uh, time dialed in a little bit more for you. When you arrive at the venue, you will be uh, listening to, you can listen to an FM radio station that will remind everyone when you should get out of your car and get to the start line for your specific start time. So each wave start time and race start time will be announced over the FM transmitter. So you know exactly what is going on and which wave we are about to start. What is the last date to request to have my bib mailed? This Friday, January 22nd, is your last date to request to have your bib mailed to you for in-person uh, events. Um, anytime, if you switch to virtual after this Friday, we will still mail you your bib packet. We just don't guarantee, we just can't guarantee that you will get it before the event takes place. I picked my race day a while ago. How do I confirm the day that I am skiing? You are going to get an email this week that will uh, have your day that you are that you chose um, to ski. It'll also have more information such as um, your name, mailing address, what event you are registered for. We'd like you to confirm all of that information so we make sure that your bid packet goes to the right place. Will you be required to go to a virtual partner or can you go to your local venue? You can go to your local venue. Uh, the virtual partner venues uh, might have more amenities for you. They'll have course suggestions. They will have courses signed, um, but you may go to, you might not have a virtual venue partner that's uh, near you or that you feel comfortable with. You can go anywhere you want to, to do the virtual Berkey. Just keep track of it. Um, by GPS watch or on your phone, um, or if somebody know, you know knows when you're starting, when you're finishing, what your plans are and can verify that you completed your event, uh, you will get credit for your Berkey, Corlopet, or Prince Hogan. And check the email or check our website um, in the next few weeks. We'll have more information on how to submit your times. 
so uh, so we can keep track and give you credit for your event into the future. What is a COVID-19 e-screening? A COVID-19 e-screening is an email that you will get prior to coming to the venue. It will ask you questions about symptoms, um, COVID-19 exposure risks, um, um, and other things to just remind you to take the precautions necessary to make this a safe event for you, um, volunteers, and staff. I've never participated in a virtual event. Do you have a suggestion for a GPS app for my phone to chart my ski? Um, we're hoping that soon you'll be able to use the Berkey app to do this. Um, so we're working diligently with our developer to be able to start and stop your Berkey event right in your Berkey app. <laughs> um, and that'll be super exciting and submit your times and it'll be really easy in the Berkey app. Um, other things that people use are um, Map by Run, Strava, Garmin Connect. Um, there's lots of different options, um, lots of different apps on your phone and on your watch. Uh, we do suggest if you are going to do it just on your phone that you put a hand warmer or something in to keep your form, phone warm so the battery lasts as long as possible. Does a buff count as a mask? Yes, a buff does count as a mask. Um, it can be a good option for being able to quickly pull it up and over your face. Uh, we ask that you find a multi-layered buff. That can be a better option than just a single layer buff. Um, but we will be making some more recommendations about that as we get closer to the event um, and what our, the medical status is at that time. Um, but a buff will count. Um, right now, a buff will count as a mask. All right, thanks for all of the questions. Um, I hope we answered most of your questions tonight. Um, if we didn't, please send us more questions to Berkey at Berkey.com. Um, we will try and get them all. We are also in the process of updating our FAQs on the Berkey event update site. So please stay tuned as we uh, get those all updated. Um, and, and work through them. We want to make sure that you have easily accessible information and we are gonna get those updated as soon as possible. Um, but please feel free to reach out with questions and comments. And uh, we are really hoping and working hard to provide a safe event for participants and our local communities. Um, and we appreciate you as you, uh, as you bear with us as we try and navigate all of this. All right. Thanks, everybody, for joining us tonight. Um, as Christy said, we're going to continue to work really hard on planning the virtual event, the in-person events, and everything around it. But understand things can change quickly. We understand that as well. And you'll be the first to know as things happen um, or evolve if they have to. Uh, that said, there is a ton of new information out there. Most of you or a lot of you have done the Berkey at least once or many times, and you just know everything that happens. This year, none of it's the same. So please take the time to read, um, browse the, the, the website, the updates, um, get yourself familiar with it because there will be a lot of different things uh, this year. Uh, again, everything from getting into the parking to getting out on course and what that feels like. So please take the time to do it. And the other thing is, please make sure that, uh, that you're smart. Be smart about coming to the community. Be smart and diligent about your COVID precautions, the opportunity to perhaps take a test, always wearing masks, keeping distance, staying outside, and then um, all those things uh, when you're even outside the venue, when you're just in the community. Uh, so hopefully everything's going well where you are. Hopefully you're enjoying your training. Uh, that's the best part of this whole thing, being out and being active. And uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you up here in the Northwoods soon. And in a few weeks, we'll do one more of these um, with specifics for uh, virtual and in-person events again. So stay tuned for more information on that. Good night. <laughs>